Salut, ciao, hola, oi. Guys, how are you? I'm great. So today I'm gonna tell you five typical Brazilian foods that you must try, okay? You must try when you come to Brazil or also you could try uh, wherever you are. Some places you can find Brazilian food, you know, some restaurants or even, you know, maybe try the recipe in your house. And who knows, maybe I can bring to the channel some Brazilian recipes for you. But for now, I'm just recommending you these five foods that you must try. So let's go to the video. The first one is feijoada. Feijoada is made of beans. Feijoada. Feijões. Feijoada. Feijão. Feijoada. Did you understand? Well, <laughs> they are made of beans and black beans to be more specific. It goes like some different parts of uh, pork, but actually uh, people put like everything, you know, the ribs um, and bacon and sausage, different things and beans. And honestly, this is very good. Yes, it's a heavy food and also it goes with rice and farofa. I've mentioned farofa in a video I'll put here uh, in the cards. Also it goes with uh, what we call couve and laranja. Honestly it's a delicious Brazilian food. It's one of my favorites and I really recommend you to try. It's not uh, for vegetarians or vegans but anyway you know something that people do today is um, to make feijoada with some other ingredients to substitute the meat. Feijão tropeiro is also made of beans. Well, as you can see, we love beans in Brazil. But this beans is different than the other beans of feijoada. In feijoada, uh, it is black beans and in this one, it's what we call feijão carioquinha, but it's actually not used in Rio. In Rio, they mostly eat black beans. In my state, we eat carioquinha and it's a brown bean. Well, the recipe of feijão tropeiro can uh, have some variations, same as I think all the recipes, obviously. But um, in feijão tropeiro, normally, it goes with farofa. Yes, we love farofa. Some people also put uh, eggs and uh, parts of pork like um, for example sausage or sometimes what we call torresmo which is oh my god amazing also couve what we say before for feijoada which is very good you know it's just like there's no other words for this some people also put bananas anyway it's very good it's i think it's one of my favorite foods because you can eat this alone or you could also eat this with rice and eat with meat and you're good you know it's all amazing the next one is very simple uh and you must know churrasco churrasco is basically meat you know all the types of meat you know i think if you are interested about brazil you probably already tried to go to some churrascaria so it's a place that they bring you meat at the table uh, all the types of meat and normally a very good meat. We have a lot of sides to eat uh, with churrasco and feijão tropeiro, in fact, is one of them. But churrasco, it's not only churrascaria, okay? You can make in your house to invite your friends. I would say something like the American barbecue, but to be honest, for what I see, I, I didn't experience this, so uh, maybe I'm wrong and you can correct me if I'm wrong. In USA, normally it's more like hamburger and sausage, while in Brazil we have really different types of meat and uh, amazing meats. So I really recommend you to eat, unless you are vegetarian or vegan. Yes, we consume a lot of meat in Brazil. I'm not saying that's good, okay? I'm not going through this things but I might change my mind in a few years but you know I really like churrasco next one acarajé I will put a photo of acarajé here it's a pasta made with a uh, feijão fradinho here is the beans again and another type of beans uh, well it's made with this and they deep fry this and they cut this in two parts and put things inside it goes with jatapá and shrimp People also sometimes put uh, tomatoes, which is yummy, and it's really good. Honestly, I really love it. I don't eat so much because, you know, in my state, it's not so common, you know, you find a good acarajé. But, you know, if you go to the north of Brazil, because it's a, it's a food from the north, okay? So if you go to the north of Brazil, 
you eat the best ones and, and that's it. I really recommend to try it, especially if you like shrimp, uh, it's really, really good. The next one and the last, moqueca de peixe. Okay, peixe is fish, if you don't know. And it's something made uh, with fish, obviously, and depends on uh, who is cooking, but it, it goes some vegetables with fish, and it must be a good fish, and uh, there is also some kind of uh, soup together, like, but it's not, it's not soup, okay, it's moqueca de peixe. And uh, we normally eat this also with rice, because, you know, we eat everything with rice, and it can have some variations as well. You can put shrimp instead of fish, or you can put shrimp and fish. It can be a mix of all of this, and it's really yummy. You can find the best ones also in the north of Brazil, or for example, in the state of Espírito Santo, there is also a, what they call moqueca capixaba, and um, it's really yummy as well. Uh, and you know, I really recommend you to try. So guys, that's it. Uh, today I recommend you five Brazilian foods. Obviously we have so many others, you know, I will bring for you for sure because uh, there's so much about Brazil that I want to show you and I want to bring a lot of more content about Brazil for you So if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel like the video show your love So I know that you're enjoying. Okay, that's really important for me. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye